Section 31 of Little Pillows or Goodnight Thoughts for Little Ones by Francis Ridley Havergal. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Thirtieth Day, The Great Promise. This is the promise that he hath promised us, even eternal life. 1 John 2.25 As the gift of the Holy Spirit was specially the promise of the Father, so it seems that the gift of eternal life was specially the promise of the Lord Jesus. If you look in the Gospel of St. John, you will find that he promised it not only once or twice, but fifteen times. So no wonder St. John in his epistle calls it the promise which he hath promised us. If you made me a promise, even if you said it only once, you would expect me to believe it, would you not? And you would be vexed and hurt if I would not believe it. It would seem as if I thought you were not speaking the truth. And suppose I did not say whether I believed it or not, but simply took no notice at all of what you said, would not that be quite as bad? Now when the Lord Jesus himself has made us a great promise, does he not expect us to believe it? Surely it grieves him more than anything when we will not believe his kind words. And it seems almost worse when we do not take any notice of them, but go on just the same as if he had never promised anything at all. So you see, it is not only that you may believe this great promise of the Lord Jesus, but that you ought to believe it, and that you are wronging his love and grieving his heart as long as you do not believe it. No matter that you do not deserve it, that is true enough, but he has promised it. No matter that it seems too good to be true, for he has promised it. No matter that you don't feel as if you had got it yet, he has promised it. Only ask him to give you faith like Abraham's who was fully persuaded that when he had promised, he was able also to perform, so that you may say joyfully, This is the promise that he hath promised me, even eternal life. Life alone is found in Jesus, only there tis offered thee, offered without price or money, tis the gift of God sent free. Take salvation, take it now, and happy be. End of section 31